Madam President, we welcome that Nepal has accepted several recommendations related to the protection and promotion of freedom of expression, assembly and association, as well as protection of human rights defenders. However, failure to accept recommendations on some of the most pressing concerns related to these rights raises questions about Nepal's commitment to ensure their protection in accordance with its international human rights obligations and its constitution. We are concerned that Nepal has rejected recommendations to reform the Electronic Transactions Act and eliminate criminal provisions relating to defamation and slander. The Electronic Transactions Act has been used to restrict freedom of the press and prosecute, arrest and detain journalists, members of the public, artists and musicians for legitimate online expression. Similarly, the new criminal code includes several provisions that impose undue and broad restrictions on freedom of expression. While these long-standing concerns remain and previous recommendations remain unfulfilled, the government has proposed several new legislations such as the Information Technology Bill that would further erode freedom of expression with vaguely defined restrictions and criminal offences. We urge Nepal to reform all existing laws and ensure all proposed legislation related to freedom of expression are in line with international standards. We further urge Nepal to decriminalize defamation. Finally, the recent appointments to the National Human Rights Commission of Nepal through a flawed process without transparency, broad consultation or parliamentary approval undermines the independence, legitimacy and public confidence in the Commission and contradicts the accepted UPR recommendations. We call on Nepal to rescind these appointments and ensure appointment and selection process as well as the Human Rights Commission Act are in line with international standards. We further call on Nepal to publicly set out an action plan for the implementation of UPR recommendations in cooperation and consultation with civil society. I thank you.